getting to know the setting, the plot, the characters, etc. From the basis and the central foundation of all four of these uniquely created stories, we want to break down the segment to where it needs to be, and a tiny chunk of it will go towards getting to know the setting, the plot, and the characters. So yeah, but anyways, let's dive in logically. Getting to know the setting. The setting of Custer's life mainly takes place in Custer, but in further detail, it also takes place in other places like America, Hermosa, Maine, and many other places we will not announce. For better reference, what I will be doing for you is not only telling you that the fourth book of Custer's Alive will not be in this triple take because of a good friend giving me an insight saying it should not. The fourth one should not be in the take. And that's when I decided that I would take her advice and only include the first three books instead. And that's what I did. Not only that, but I will introduce the setting for the book in the, this time as well. The setting of book number one has multiple insights, but I have only added a few of them in this plot, as I will name them off starting now. The setting. The new and Kate's live in a small blue house, and they drive a Model T. Dad works up in Hermosa. The setting. Life was a little bit different for the Newton Cates in Custer than it was in Maine. Life was really different. They now could afford new things. They could afford to buy bread and even buy enough for a home-cooked meal. The only difference, the environmental settings of the area. Donnie and Ronnie were homeschooled. They had no friends. They lived in the middle of nowhere, which caused lots of depression-like symptoms. May, 1805. Custer. Sitting on the swing, groaning about life and talking to himself. And that is it for the setting of book one. Now we will move on to the plot for book one. All right, so the plot for book one is in our favor. Luckily, we don't have too much to discuss because this will be really quick to announce. So, the plot starts off in an abandoned forest where the green forest magic is introduced. And then as the story rises, Custer is introduced as well. But just know, he is not as good as what he seems. In fact, him and Harley Newton Kate set up a plot to kill one of the two brothers. It was fatal, and it will be documented in the official recording of book one. So I hope you check that out when it is published to G the Writer Audio Network. Now for the characters of book one. We will get right to it. All right, naming them off of the list in order that is Chris Newton Kate, Harley Newton Kate, Katie, Josh, Chris, Custer James Manning, Johnny Lambo, Grandma Betry, Donnie, Ronnie, Tina, Barbara Miller, Jamie, and Hunter. Those are all of the names covered for at least half of the book. Other names that stay permanent will remain that way, as they are irrelevant to the subject synopsis. Now for book two, and getting to know the setting. Oh, I have been waiting for this. All right, so the settings all throughout a section of the book are listed below as follows, in which I will read them off for you here. The setting. 
In a village with terrible chaos, deaths, and conflicts, who will be the ones to stand up for the what's right? Protests begin to spread throughout the native civilizations, causing trouble throughout villages, and governments begin to go corrupt. The villages were in a terrible chaos. Kuptia deaths grew stronger, more vivid, vivid than ever recorded in history files. Nightmares arose as well, leaving the gravel streets of the village, terra firma, empty and abandoned. And now that we have that out of the way, we're moving on, moving quick. Now for the plot. Well, for the plot, the second story starts all around 1500 BC, while taking place on the continent of Asia. Skipping further ahead, in the beginning, a boy by the name of Rector Ray was sitting out on his log deck, reading what is known as the first book in the Custer's Alive series. And what appears to be an advanced mothership appears in the sky before his eyes. As he sat down again, astonished is a good way to put it. And although this strange figured object disappeared, one thing that remained was his book that sat on the table. And as he was told to go inside, once the door was closed, the book pages on the log deck flipped to chapter one, the Newton Cates. And then a shooting star passed in the night sky. And that's where book two of Custer's Alive begins. Now for the ending, without spoiling the story, they recently moved to a new house to start a new life. And that's all I can pretty much tell you without giving the story away. So, one question a reader might ask me is who are all, if not most of the characters in the second book of Custer's life, if you can name them? And I would say, all right, naming them off in order at least. Rector, Sarah, Mom, Dad, Dr. Crane, Jacob Atari, and many, many more. Those are all of the names I can list because that's all I really have to go off of. All right, now on to the last story we will cover with full coverage, starting with the setting. Now the setting in book three is breathtaking. So here it is. Let me read it off with no interruptions. The setting. The family was watching the late night news. June 5th, 1846, killings near you, Cindy Lou. This is on TV while they are at home. Supper is easy, Dad said. It was time for supper. Dad was the first one at the table. He had the most on his plate. Supper was ready when Jacob got home. Skipping ahead, the setting for the near ending of Custer's Alive, book number three. Chapter 6. Working Together It was kind of shady this morning, and by shady, I mean that fog had made its way through the town, kind of like the Green Force magic. The group woke up that day. It was a Thursday, the day just before Friday, in which all of them would be leaving for their exploration. Ronnie gave Rector advice on writing books. Dad got sick from Salisbury steak. Mom served everyone else before Dad ever since the incident. Conclusion, setting and plot. What did Custer want from Ronnie? How did Ronnie survive the green forest magic? Did Ronnie meet Rector in a time machine? The one he's seen on his log deck a thousand to thirteen hundred years ago? And might that be the reason why the pages flipped after Rector went inside? Who knows? And might the answer remain unsolved? And we're gonna stop here. There. Next up is the characters for book three. We already went over the plot and whatnot. Book three characters. Rector, Ronnie, Jacob, Jacob's mom, Jacob's dad, 
Rex, Custer, Sheriff Patterson, Shane Fox Webber, and etc. And now that that is done, thank you for your patience. It took me a while to write this, but thank you. I love you all. Thanks.